Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently finished reading... I bet <laughs> that's... Yeah, <laughs> tried to speak correctly. Anyway, I just recently finished reading Chaser, which was absolutely fascinating and phenomenal. And <clears throat> as you can see, Chaser is a border collie. And he actually... Dr. Pilly talks about the dogs that he owned before he ever met Chaser. He actually got Chaser from a farmer friend that lived not too far away from him and actually bred dogs on their property <clears throat> a pure breed um border collies um before chaser he had a german shepherd border collie mix uh, <clears throat> and that was a dog that he held very in very high esteem and um, he had a special relationship with that particular dog. And then he and his wife had uh, Blue and Timber, who were uh, Siberian Huskies. <clears throat> but <clears throat> just all, all of the animals that he speaks of, that, that, that he speaks of having and owning, um, it's just really <laughs> very heartwarming and heartrending, especially when those particular dogs pass away. Um, it just, it breaks your heart, and he, he, he talks about that, and I've gone through that as well, owning animals, and, uh, as a pet owner, you have to open yourself up to heart, heartbreak, and then the renewal of possibility of having another pet down the line. Uh, you can always open yourself up for having your heart, uh, uh, illuminated by, by love, and... What's interesting here is uh, just the, the crossover between the sciences and the arts. And um, I can relate to this. <laughs> and uh, one of my side studies is anthropology. And I, I don't do it as a professional. It's just kind of something I moonlight in. Same thing with linguistics and all that. It's, it's, it's something that captivates me and completely transfixes me. Um, it's really quite intriguing. And <clears throat> when he actually met Chaser, Chaser didn't have a name. And there's a, a long story as to how Chaser actually received her name. Oh, I forgot. Um, I should mention that the first dog he had is named Yasha. And Yasha was actually named after a virtuoso who, uh, it was spelled J-A-S-H-A. -A, and um, he, he, wasn't very good at spelling, <laughs> but um, Yasha was a virtuoso, and he played Mendelssohn's uh, concerto so well that he decided to give his dog the owner of having that name. I thought, wow, that's really quite a prestigious uh, um, <clears throat> kind of um, name. It's a very... Um, impactful name and he said uh later on in the book that names have power names have meaning and you have to be careful what name you grant an animal and uh he also talks about uh different animals and their intelligence uh he talks about an albino gorilla and he talks about crows of course i knew he would get to that and he talks about cause and effect and um Descartes, he speaks of Descartes saying, and Descartes didn't have any evidence to this fact, but he just blatantly stated and without any evidence supporting this. And you never do that if, if you're a true scientist, but you have to back your, you have to back your claim up with hypotheses and evidence. But anyway, Descartes said that animals were flesh and blood machines with no capacity for reason or empathy. And that is wrong. Actually, Darwin proved that to be a fact. And before, after Darwin had said such a thing and written about he hadn't written about it in um, great detail but um, he led to the uh, study of ethology basically ethology um, <coughs> the ethologists they study human not human behavior but animal behavior uh, psychologists study hu human behavior which uh, Dr. Pilly is a psychologist and he's also a, a professor emeritus a, a <coughs> at Wofferston. He lives in South Carolina with his wife and 
Uh, he's now in his 80s, and Chaser's now 9, but it's just, the, the whole book is just really chock full of really tremendous information about an animal's intelligence and creative teaching, and I, I uh, coming from a really great university, I agree with uh, creative teaching and not just this uh, standardized way. IQ tests don't test your intellect. The ability to recall is, is intelligence in and of itself. And uh, the ability to differentiate and uh, exclusive reasoning, cause and effect, etc. And uh, just uh, the ability to be innovative and have imagination. There are a lot of factors that create intelligence as a whole. And he, he speaks of this, and I, I think this is a man after my own heart. And uh, it's just completely <clears throat> very... Uh, illustrative of um how animals co uh well they coexist and they react and they try to uh be diligent to their masters or mistresses um demands um and it just uh shows that whole symbiosis and interspecial special relationship that we actually have with dogs above all other creatures i think and it may even open the door to doing more studies. But they think that canines have kind of a an, an arc because of this, the way that, that canines are different from other animals, this because of their evolution and et cetera. And yeah, that could very well be. But if you're um, if you're a dog person or an animal lover like myself, and you know Chaser and you've watched the videos, and they talk about uh, the visit with Neil deGrasse Tyson and one of my heroes, um, <clears throat> and how Chaser became viral and <laughs> Chaser's puppy days and her her diva antics later on in her stardom, and just that I mean, look at her eyes. She has a look of keen intellect. She certainly looks brilliant and he even knew Pilly knew that when he he got her and she came to him she chose him and I as a dog lover and, and dog owner myself I can vouch for this I have an Airedale and my Airedale chose me and from the moment I set eyes on him I knew I thought yeah you're very very smart and he is so he's no he's nowhere near uh Chaser's uh level because the only reason I say that is because uh, Pilly's had the ability and time to work with Chaser. I haven't really had that. And I would love for someone to do a, um, a study on Airedales to see uh, how they stack up. Just just because I'm biased. But Border Collies have an innate ability to herd. And Chaser, uh, as her name <laughs> indicates, chasing is just another form of herding. And in the afterward it, it has all of her toys i mean every single one of her toys are listed from a to z and i thought holy crud that is just <sighs> absolute insanity that <laughs> you would go to that length but it's just it proves a point and he's had many interactions and experimentations with her and her students that have worked alongside uh Chaser herself and, and Yasha and uh, Timber and, and Blue and the other dogs that he has had um, as uh, <clears throat> as professor. Chaser denotes a special status. She she is the the ultimate uh, pinnacle of that. I do believe just just because of her aptitude. She does this with a plum. I mean there there is no other way to say this and um. I just, I highly recommend it for ev for everybody, even those of you who are really not into, say, psychology or linguistics or syntax or uh, just behaviors. Uh, it just really, it's it comes down to just a very interesting and most likely an influential book scientifically speaking of animal intelligence. And I am definitely looking forward to chaser just changing the world has uh i always knew that animals were smart i just never knew how smart <laughs> i guess it depends on how how we work with the animal and if that animal is willing to to serve and to please its um owner 
And um, if you have a dog that just wants to go out of its way to make sure that it makes you happy, why not? Why not uh, work with that? It's definitely um, stun chaser wonders. <laughs>